Hello and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. Today I have this um, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Big Brush Pin Storage Unit Display Unit. It came from a retail store and I'm not sure where. I got it at my local Creative Reuse Center and it's really big so it's hard to show you all of it on my station when I have to tip it up. I'm going to work on it. Um, I need to take off this and all of the um, papers here, I don't have all the colors so there's no reason to leave all these but they've got these really great little slots. So um, we're going to work on this and make it just a little prettier for my studio. Okay, so here we have this thing. It's it's just too big for you to see it all in frame on my uh, on my table, and the color of the wood here is the same color as my table. So, um, I, I'm going to give you some thought process. I thought about painting the whole thing, but I can't really reach into into here to paint the back, and these don't really come out very easily. So I'm going to leave it wood colored, but I am going to add some really cool details on this side, and we're just going to pretty up this little section here. Um, like I said earlier, I don't have all of the colors, so I'm just going to use it for what I do have. I'm going to try good old Goo Gone to see if it can get this off, and we're going to do it according to the instructions. Um, and we're just going to do this. This is going to take a while, so of course I'm not going to do it all on camera. The most important thing is to do it with... Um, you know, off, off camera. Anyway, so I'm gonna kind of peel up a little bit so that the Goo Gone can get underneath the surface. Um, I'm not sure if that will help or not, who knows? I don't know. I don't wanna spread it with my hands, so I have an old toothbrush that I'm just gonna spread it on. We're gonna let it soak for a minute and then we're just gonna peel it off. So that is what I'm gonna do because <laughs> We want to get this off of here. I don't know about touching it with my hands, rubbing it with my fingers, so so that's why I have a a toothbrush and a, um, this is just an old one. Don't don't use this to brush your teeth. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let it soak in for just a minute, and then I'm going to um, peel it up. Make sure you put the cap back on because it doesn't smell very nicely, and make sure you do this in a well ventilated area because you don't want to be breathing in these fumes. All right, according to the directions, you apply it and then you wipe. And I have a feeling this is going to take a while. So <laughs> off we go and then we clean it off at the end. I think I probably should have slightly sanded the sticker there because it's hard to penetrate through, but it's starting to wear off the sticker. Um, this is going to take a while, but it's worth it because, you know, I found it for a good price. Um, I have a, a putty knife. I don't want to use a, a razor blade or anything. I don't want to scrape the wood. I don't want to ruin the wood. So this is what I'm going to do. This is going to take a while. I'm just going to move this up so you can see. I'm just going to lightly remove all this and I have to remove it on all of these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that and then we'll get to the fun part, which is the decorating part. This is just, you know, the prep part and I have to say prep is not as fun as decorating. So let me get to that and I'll be right back. I also wanted to mention as I'm working, what I'm also doing is I'm taking my heat tool and I'm heating it up and I'm lightly scraping as I'm heating it up. Careful, it gets hot. But we just want to loosen up this adhesive. Now this um, sticker here has this shiny on it. It's, um, you know, this plastic to protect it because I'm sure they want to make sure it's um, really well adhered down for retail because, you know, lots of people touch things and ruin things in retail. So um, just take your heat tool very carefully because it does get very hot. Hold on to the back of this. Don't hold on to the metal because it will heat up. And let me show you. And... you get big swashes coming off, big sections coming off, and then you just work on it, and I'm almost done. So that's the easiest way to do that. Um, I just want to show you the other trick I'm doing, um, just heating it up with a heat tool and, and very gently scraping it off so that um, you have this bare surface and uh, still a little sticky down here too. So I'm probably going to do another round of Goo Gone down here just to get this um, adhesive off. 
and I'll do the same on all of these and now I'll be right back when this is all done this is gonna take a little bit of time but um, not too too bad so all right I'll be back all right so I'm back and this is all done I have taken off all of the stickers it took me a few days to do it is not a quick process so take your time uh, and just you know go ahead and get that all off I did use my heat tool quite a bit uh, just make sure you don't blast it too much or it will warp the plastic now this plastic was already warped because it was in the Sun uh, just because where it was located in the retail location but you just want to be really careful that you don't add to it and also when you're all done make sure you clean it off with soap and water or baby wipes or something so that make sure all of the residue is off so it's ready to go what I want to do is paint the side and I'm not gonna paint the whole thing like I said because you can't really get down there so I'm just gonna use a stencil over here I have this really pretty Waverly stencil um it doesn't give me a name of it but it's really pretty and I like it a lot so we're going to use this stencil so what I want to do is measure the middle between here so it's about 16 and a half inches from end to end because we want to make sure that the the middle point here is in the middle ish it doesn't have to be perfect you also have we have nine of these little rungs so we can line it up with this this middle rung as well so I think I'm gonna do that because that's a good starting point with that um, so I'm just lining this up just like this and I'm going to tape it down because um, we want to get all the way here now we're not gonna paint over here of course but let me tape this down okay I'll tape down and what I'm going to do is I want a little bit of texture to it um, so I have these Finnebar and pesto paints and I'm using the colors lemon peel pumpkin and crimson really pretty colors so we're gonna kind of make it look like a, a sunset sunrise um, very pretty colors so I don't need a ton all right so you just decide which ones you want to have first and I want to do the pink first and I just have stencil brushes um, I just have three stencil brushes and we're just gonna go to town now if it turns out you don't like it don't worry about it you can always paint over it so I'm just going to put this pink color here trying to go all the way to the edge okay okay I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm putting the yellow down here because I want to have it blend down here now I'm taking the orange and I'm gonna put it in the middle here and I'm sorry it's kind of hard to see um, because it's a little hard with this clear stencil on here but I'll show you in just a second okay so we've got a big orange right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pink and the orange and I'm gonna kind of blend them together like that very pretty okay we're gonna do the same thing down here with the orange and the yellow okay super pretty all right let's take this off oh so pretty I love how that turned out okay so I think this is super pretty so I think what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna take it and kind of go like this oh I I'm gonna just put the stencil like this so I'm gonna kind of add some more let me push this up so you can see it I'm gonna add some more stencils here and then I'm gonna put some on the top just kind of play with it um, I'm using yellow here because I'm gonna go yellow to orange and then up here I'll go pink to orange up there enjoy it's just a stencil and if you don't really love it at the end don't worry just paint over it it's fine but <laughs> that is my attitude for most things just take your time enjoy play around experiment see what happens and uh, yeah this is gonna be really cute all right let me finish this and then we'll do the finishing touches and then this will be ready to be put into use I'm so excited okay so this is all done and I did the top but I couldn't really show you how I did it because my um, filming setup but it's the exact same way you stencil it and I love how this is turning out so cute okay so 
what we have is just this um, plain and you can leave it like this. Of course, at any stage, you can of course leave it, but I'm going to add a little bit more. And I dug out my washi tape and I'm trying to use up my washi tape like we all are. We all have way too much. So I thought it'd be really cute to put washi tape on these little dividers. So I'm going to start with this one. I have no idea where I got these. Um, I've had washi tape far too long. Now, if your washi tape is losing is it its adhesive, then go ahead and uh, put some glue or um, like a gel medium on here, Mod Podge, so that you can adhere it down. Mine's still okay, so I'm just gonna stick it down. That way I can change it out if I want to. And this one just says, make today amazing. So cute. And I'm just gonna do a couple rows of washi tape and I'm actually going to put this one down at the bottom so that make today amazing well they'll overlap a little bit and that's okay um, it's gonna be a little long on the side and just kind of stick it on I'm not super worried about perfection get it pretty straight all right there we go. I have one done just like that. And I'm ready to do the other ones. So let me just go ahead and finish this up. All right, so you get the idea. I'm gonna just do the other three and then I'll come back. But it's starting to look like that. So cute. Now you have a choice with your patterns. I have, uh, maybe these are chevrons and then watercolor, whatever. So I can do these three and then I can do them this way or I can radiate out. I can do this one and then this one and then this one. I'm not sure what I want to do, but just play around with the patterns, see what you like. And then what I'm going to do after it's all done is I'm just going to trim up the edges and I'm just going to just do that with scissors or an X-Acto knife just to clean them all up. And then, um, then yeah, so let me finish this and I'll be right back. All right, it's all done. I trimmed the edges. X-Acto knife worked the best for that. So, it's ready to be put in place. I think it looks super cute. As always, you can stop at any point. You don't have to add as much or you can add more. I was thinking maybe a little rhinestones on there, but I don't want them to um, snag on the markers and stuff that I put in. But anyway, so I'm loving this. It looks so very cute. Let me go ahead and put it in place and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. It is all done. Let me scoot in closer so you can see it. And I think it looks super cute. Perfect for my markers. Now, like I said earlier, I don't have a ton of markers, but that's okay. Room to grow, right? So, yep, I am super excited with how this turned out. So, you know, if you find a piece of furniture, even if it's retail furniture, grab it and see if you can make it your own and decorate it how you like. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.